Hey, what's up guys? Ryan Rig here, the host of your show, Ryan Vlogs 2. Not the number two, not like you're going to watch this vlog, but T-O-O, -O, like in addition, like also. Yes, if you're here from the title of the video or new to the channel, my drone flew away. And I want to talk about that during this vlog, and that's uh, all I want to talk about during today's vlog. Um, not to cause any problems, just to explain what happened to me, what I went through, what procedures I, you know, uh, took what steps I took to try to avoid this um, and you know just basically the events that led up to this happening in case you know other people are interested or curious it, it may benefit them so you guys know a few it was about three or four weeks ago we got the DJI Phantom 3 professional awesome drone awesome drone absolutely awesome I use um, the iPhone 6s plus and I've had not uh, I've had not one single hiccup issue and or problem I've had uh, 36 successful flights, over 272,000 feet traveled, which seems awesome, you know, for a drone, and then um, over seven and a half hours flight time. Now, granted, I'm no professional, but these batteries, you know, last 20, 22, 23 minutes. So to have 36 successful flights has been awesome, you know, for a new product, you know, something I was kind of nervous about flying in the beginning. But didn't have any issues so I'm like this technology is really dialed in and it truly is you know when you connect you know an Android or a iPad or whatever you're connecting and use their app it really makes it awesome because you can get you know your live video feed make some adjustments make changes you know update your hardware and do settings and all kinds of different things you can even you know change the color profile for when you're shooting video you know if you want a cine like profile so there's so many options packed into the app so up, up until this point, it's been an amazing experience. Now, um, you guys have noticed, if you're new here or you've never watched any of my vlogs, uh, for the last two or three weeks, I've been bringing drone footage into each of my vlogs. And then on my main channel, I've been uploading drone videos and uploading them on Facebook and Instagram and things like that. And I've, I live here in Springfield, Illinois, near the lake, and I've been doing a lot of near the lake at different parks, you know, different boat ramps, things like that. And it's been really fun, you know, flying over the water, seeing the boats, seeing jet skis, seeing the golf course, and everybody's been enjoying the video, uh, the videos, and they've been, you know, 4K quality, whether that I render them in 1080p or keep them at 4K, just amazing video quality, and hands down, has been an awesome experience with the Phantom, uh, Phantom 3 Pro. Well, the other night, um, let's see, today is uh, Friday, so this would have been, let's see, Thursday, uh, that would have been Wednesday night. Okay, so Wednesday, uh, we had done, uh, somebody had sent over a PlayStation 4, and you guys know if you saw the vlog, and we opened that, um, and then sh during that, I was updating the PS4, and was like, well, we, I'll go out and fly the drone, because we haven't flown the drone yet today, ha didn't have any drone footage, so I'm like, we need to do that. So I grabbed everything I needed, which was my Phantom 3 Pro, the controller, my iPhone cable, and then my iPhone 6S Plus. Went out to a different spot by the lake, uh, which was called uh, Bridgeview Park uh, because there's a really good uh, shot of the marina where other boats come and, you know, the slips where they park the boats and things like that. So I was like, this will be really cool, you know. Normal day, I had my battery charged on my Phantom 3. I had the controller fully charged. My iPhone 6S Plus was fully charged. The app I noticed on my iPhone had been recently updated. Now, I probably run a risk using auto update anyway on my iPhone because if apps update and something's wrong with them you're gonna just get the update and there's nothing you can do now I've you know seen on the forums there's some been a lot of reported issues with this latest iOS update um, including issues that happened to me and we'll talk about that during the video um, so I had the latest update running latest firmware everything was good to go so uh, typical sequence is you know, make sure your area is nice and clean, you know, make sure the props are tight, uh, make sure your batteries are charged, make sure you're not in an obstructed area. Oh, there's, see, there's a controller beeping at me now. Here, we better turn that off real quick. I think it's because it's been on for a little bit there with no aircraft. It still says aircraft disconnected. I'm just keeping it up there so I can show you guys the map. But, um, <clears throat> so I had the battery charged. Everything's ready for just a normal flight, as it would be anything else. So I set the drone on the ground. Took my little uh, gimbal protector, gimbal guard off of the camera, set it down, I fired up the controller, then I turned on the drone, turned on the app, camera connected, you know, let the GPS and everything stabilize, and I got the green light safe to fly, because I'm not doing any stunts or tricks over here. So I was green light, you know, let it sit there for a minute, hover, put it in the air, 
you know, let it kind of, they say, you know, maybe give it 20 seconds when you hover it just to kind of, you know, let the motors warm up and things. So it's hovering, everything's fine. I'm green, I'm safe to fly, I've got a live video feed. So then I begin getting some shots and I'm gonna show you guys some of those shots during the video. So, you know, I'm getting shots, I'm flying around, everything's just fine, no problems at all. Well, two times I noticed the screen had said weak transmission signal. So it said weak transmission signal on the actual app right here. Okay, so I'm thinking, this is weird. You know, I'm only 212 feet in the air and about 2,200 feet distance from the controller, all within normal operating range and not anything, you know, crazy or abnormal than I hadn't already done. Um, you know, I'm still flying, got line of sight, no problem. Over the lake, getting some amazing shots. So next thing you know, I'm lined up. I circle around the marina. I come back for my last shot and I'm going to just kind of go up the slip where all the boats are at and I'm flying and then all of a sudden... It says, well, it says disconnected here, but the actual air message was aircraft disconnected, okay? So aircraft disconnected. I'm thinking, why? You know, so I lost the live video feed. I didn't have anything on the screen anymore other than aircraft disconnected. It did prompt on the screen of my iPhone. It said, you know, something about an issue. Do you want to return to home? And I pushed that button. My guess is I already had lost communication, so that button, that command didn't go through. No worries, because there is a return to home button built in on the controller right here. Okay, no worries. Probably hit that button a hundred times. Still never came home. Um, manual sticks of the uh, the drone, nothing. I, I assume that the drone took straight off in the air and slammed back down in the water somewhere else. The drone continued flying forward at a speed of 30-something miles an hour and then slammed the water. I'm really not sure. I had line of sight of it. You know 2200 feet away you just want to make sure you got line of sight and i could see it the area it's at just like any of my other flights now per the flight record i go to its last known location it's not there now i'll do a separate video like maybe on my main channel about how to like access your flight records if you lost your drone you just use your iphone you know with the uh, itunes on your computer and then you can actually look at the documents under the apps section so i'll show you guys that plus dji has a tutorial on that so I went in there, you know, after I'd got back home and, you know, looked at the flight record and was like, yeah, that was the last known location because I could see it on my screen on my iPhone. Um, it was about 90 degrees out there. I spent literally three hours until dark searching, you know, waiting to see if it maybe wash up on the shoreline. I was in the exact spot that I took off from, the exact spot that it said it was last known uh, location was, and no drone. I can't describe the feeling of leaving with the drone, the controller, my iPhone, and only coming home with the controller and the iPhone. I was very upset, very disappointed, very frustrated, only because it was, I'm not a beginner in my opinion, because it had been my 37th flight. You know, I've had, I've had even DJI share some of the videos that I've made so far with their products. So I've had, I've had nothing but success with it. So I'm just kind of blown away as to what happened. Um, after getting home and just kind of ending a vlog, I was just like, okay, we'll talk about this another day. I was just like so blown away and I immediately took to the forums and one thing that I noticed was this aircraft disconnected was a very common problem recently um, and drones flying away, Phantom 3 Pros especially, a big problem with this. Um, the latest iOS update, a lot of people reporting issues, um, unresponsive controls. Now there's some default safety measures built in. For example, I even tried powering off the controller. I tried, uh, here let me turn this back on real quick here. I tried, uh, I tried rebooting the app, I tried rebooting the controller, and then usually I lost the signal transmission from the controller uh, by default an automatic return to home. The drone never came home. I really wish it did, um, because it's, you know, it's a $1,000 plus device, and what chokes me up the most is it was a gift, and it was a very meaningful gift, not because it was a drone, just because of how the gift came about and why it came about, so it was just like... It was like, man, I already lose a drone, now it's a gift. And it, it, it literally, it, it was horrible. It really was a horrible experience um, because I'm still sitting here left with no drone. Now, I'll show you guys the clips um, of like the last flights uh, or the last flight, you know, and just kind of where I was flying. Now, granted, these are just from my iPhone, even though the memory card's in the drone, uh, videos are still kind of... Uh, saved within the app at a lesser quality so don't mind the quality don't hold me against it because that's not the normal quality that's just you know a, a caveat of the app so let's take a look at those clips now and then we'll talk about those 
So yeah, I mean, you you could see where I was at, you know? I was at the last known location, went to where I was at, so it's just like, I don't know. At the end of the day, my drone flew away or sank in the water, and I, with line of sight and it just disappearing, vanishing, I mean, you can see it pretty well. That's why I just didn't understand what happened. Why didn't it remain hovering where it's supposed to? Why didn't the fail-safes kick in? Um, you know, and this isn't a blast to DJI because accidents happen. You know, these things are electronics, but at the end of the day, I mean, this is supposed to be pretty impressive i mean here we were you know flying around i mean you can see it on the map you know last known location was right there and i mean it's just an amazing view and i've i've flown all over this lake so i did notice um and i'll show that screenshot i did notice when i got home with the controller and the screen on my iphone there was a message status message that said uh hardware malfunction contact dji for support now I never seen that before. Hardware malfunction definitely indicates something happened for sure. Um, so yesterday, today's Friday, but yesterday I got on, you know, with support with DJI, you know, after I kind of was, you know, a little hot and heavy on Twitter, as anybody should be. I mean, you're kind of disappointed. You're at a loss. You don't really, you don't really know where to go. What's next? If you're, are you out the money for your drone? Where are they going to stand by? Are they going to replace it? Because literally, it was zero percent pilot error i didn't do anything wrong and i didn't do anything different than i hadn't already done with all the other successful flights so i was taking it like so hard because it's like what did i do you know i didn't do anything different but yet this still happened so you know i contacted with dji i've got a support case going and basically what that meant was i send them the flight log so they can attempt to locate the aircraft i told them well i've already looked at the flight log you're not going to find it because i didn't find it but that's just part of the process so they also, uh, there's like a three-page customer questionnaire that just kind of talks about, like, you know, what were you doing when it happened? You know, what were the circumstances like? Um, just some questions, you know, so they can kind of get some more information about it, um, as well as a proof of purchase. Now, I did get a couple messages on Twitter saying how they were going to escalate this to a manager. They said they're very sorry these things happen, um, but they take these issues very seriously. And with all the reported issues of the iOS update causing problems, and watching other YouTube videos of drones flying away, I thought it was important to talk about my experience because a lot of you guys watch my videos, um, you know, and somebody even commented, well, I was kind of on the fence about buying one and now I'm not sure. And I didn't make this video or to talk about it to, you know, deter anybody from buying it because I still genuinely believe it's a great product. I just want to now see if there's going to be service after the sale based on a situation. I mean, they have the flight log. I didn't do anything wrong. It wasn't pilot pilot air, and I didn't come home with a drone. Being that I only had it three weeks and it's over a thousand dollars, yes, I genuinely expect DJI to send me a replacement unit um, because I didn't do anything wrong and I don't have a drone. There's no point in having this box or this controller without a drone to fly, and it's it's making what was awesome. I was already making vlogs anyway, but to now not be able to bring my drone footage into my videos is like impacted me and my work and other projects that I want to work on so I'm just kind of like at a loss right now you know I don't know what to think I don't know what to do I'm just kind of in limbo with DJI but that's what happened I mean literally the drone flew away and a few people had asked man you document everything on camera why didn't why didn't you why didn't we see in a vlog the the kind of search and search rest uh, search and rescue mission or the lost and found mission well to be honest with you I was home filming the video of the day before when someone sent me a ps4 yeah, and I normally bring my camera and my GoPro, but I wanted to just run out real quick, get the drone footage, run back home, and get back to playing PlayStation 4. It wasn't supposed to be anything serious. Now, I wish I had the camera so I could have shown you guys, but then I probably would have been crying or cussing or carrying on or something like that because um, I was very angry and upset and hot and sweaty. It was just a, a rough experience, to say the least. So I'm hoping that DJI comes through after the sale but I just wanted to tell you guys what was going on. Yeah, my drone flew away. It really did. Or sank at the bottom of the lake. Either way, I don't have it. Um, I wish I was lying. I wish that wasn't the real story, but that's really what happened. So in those clips, you can kind of see where, you know, where I was flying at. But yeah, it's just, oh man. So, you know, just kind of in limbo waiting to see what happens. Um, I, I've seen other stories where, you know, they've sent out a replacement. They'll stand behind it. I mean, with the hardware malfunction, like you guys saw that screenshot from the screen, I'm not buying it. I'm not, if, I fully expect a replacement unit as soon as possible. Now, if that doesn't happen, we're definitely going to make a part two about this vlog, you know, 
and the the lack of support but i can't make an opinion on that until it happens yet but that is exactly what i wanted to talk to you guys about today and only that drone flew away i, I really believe me it's supposed to be an amazing weekend it's father's day weekend would love to have taken that out and flown with my son we had some plans with it and we can't do that now so i'm just so so bummed it's like you know it's not like losing a child but in that moment i was like it's like losing a pet you know you had something and you can't find it and you had to go home empty-handed every time i've taken this out i've come home excited grab the memory card load it in my mac and start editing 4k video this time i came home upset almost crying frustrated and without a drone so not sure what's going on over there dji i'm not sure what's going on with the latest ios update because a lot of people are reporting issues in your forums and a lot of people are reporting issues with phantom 3 professional flyway I'm not the only one this has happened to, and it's going to continue happening. And like I said, I get things happen as long as DJI comes through, recognizes it was no fault of my own, and says, you know what, we're going to send you another one as our way of saying that shouldn't have happened. That's all I want to happen so that we can make an awesome follow-up vlog about it. But yeah, so that's where we're at on that, guys. So until I get some kind of recourse, no drone footage in the videos. I'm sorry, we worked, we waited so long to get it. Then we got it and we were doing it for three weeks and now it's already gone, which, I mean, I've had devices, I've got my original Xbox that's never, that's 10 years old almost, that's never failed one time. And those things all fail, you know what I mean? So I just still don't know what to think, waiting to hear back from them, but wanted to talk to you guys and anybody else that maybe isn't subscribed to the vlog channel and never seen one of my vlogs, just kind of my story, what happened. Um, and hopefully in those videos that clips I showed you and kind of get a layout of where I was at and things. But yeah, that hardware malfunction error though that I've screen captured. I hope that's my saving grace. So we shall see. We shall see. But that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Well, uh, I got some other things planned this weekend for you in the vlog. So make sure you stay subscribed. Stay tuned in. Uh, for those gamers, make sure you enter the Elgato HD60 giveaway. That will be ending very, very soon. But guys, I'm Ryan Rigg, the host of your show, Ryan Vlogs 2, not the number two. Not like you're going to check out some DJI Phantom 3 forum and other issues, because you should. But T.O., like in addition, like also. If you enjoyed the vlog today, please click that thumbs up button. Subscribe, become a friend of the channel. Leave me the comment down below, Phantom 3, and I'll know you watched today's vlog all the way through. And if you did watch it all the way through, give yourself a pat on the back. A happy Friday epic high five for me super virtual high five for me so i'll let you guys know what i find out hopefully i find out something today or you know in the next few days but yeah i'm just it's a bummer you know what i mean it's a bummer so yeah my drone flew away nothing i can do about it so hopefully we get another one hopefully we get some kind of recourse and you know for anybody that watched this video that's never watched any of my videos and maybe had the same experience or similar, let me know your comments down below. You know, what'd you do? What happened? You describe your uh, experience with DJI. Did they come through and help you out? So if anybody has, you know, any experience working with DJI after the sale, you know, for a situation, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your story and share it. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. Okay. You guys can't see. I don't know if you can see. This is not happening. And this is really not, oh my god. Oh my god, it's, it is. It really is. Guys, Jeff, you're an incredibly crazy, amazing person from New York. Um, and to the rest of the YouTube community that doesn't know what's in this box,